Thank you for tuning in on this channel, Revival Sound TV, to hear Apostle Joshua Seman on this particular topic, forgiveness. You need to hear this. A lot of setbacks, a lot of bitterness, a lot of sicknesses is due to unforgiveness. Listen to God's servant, Apostle Joshua Seman. There is something you need to learn so that you can be able to release a lot of people that you have tied down because of unforgiveness. God bless you. Ephesians 4 verse 31. Forgiveness and forbearance. Kenya, body of Christ, East Africa, Africa, listen to this. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice next verse please and be ye kind one to another tender-hearted uh-huh forgiving one another even as god for christ's sake has forgiven you there is nobody no relationship regardless what kind of relationship thrives without the fortitude to practice forgiveness for as long as you are relating with humans, there will be a need to forgive. Now, there is a difference between forgiveness and forbearance. Forgiveness talks of granting pardon to an offender. Tolerance means accommodating the limitation of that individual because it will happen again. <laughs> you need to have the capacity to both forgive and forbear i would always give this example teaching my people if a noisy person tells you sorry i won't talk again he does not need forgiveness he needs forbearance 10 minutes later he resumes such a person does not need forgiveness forgiveness and forbearance colossians 3 13 now let me tell you this i need to put a disclaimer reverend julian the value of forgiveness is when there is repentance when there is no repentance forgiveness will not profit the other person it may release you and free you the one communicating the forgiveness but in that overall process there will not be profit the value of forgiveness is when there is repentance remember i told you there are three gifts we receive at salvation still remember number one the forgiveness of sin number two the gift of righteousness number three zoe the life of god this is the progression the three gifts that a believer receives at salvation is first the forgiveness of sins that paves way for you to receive the nature of righteousness and then with it comes the life of God and there are many many people who do not practice forgiveness there's an African cliche I think it's African over my dead body do they say that in Kenya don't say it oh I can't forgive this person over my dead body over my this and that over my dead body and then when you're about to go to bed you say God forgive me you know the things I've done just just forgive me um, no one of the highest demonstrations of a giving spirit is forgiveness forgiveness is a kind of giving if the only thing you know how to give is money you are not a good giver forgiveness is a kind of giving a nobler superior kind of giving do you know why because when you forgive you usually forgive from a standpoint of pain you don't forgive from abundance you forgive from pain let me tell you this pastors forgive one another children forgive your parents parents forgive your children are we together subordinates forgive your superiors superiors forgive subordinates there are people today who have 30 year old wars that will never end 
I'm not talking of nation to nation, individuals. Even when they die, their children continue the war. Please let it end. Let a generation end that war. I don't know if it does happen, and with all due respect, there are African clans today that have been fighting for forever. And all it takes to end that war is I'm sorry. I'm sorry does not mean you are weak. I'm sorry means you are wise. There are times you say I'm sorry not because you are the one who is wrong. It's because you are the one who is wise. It's because you are the one who is better enlightened. Mutual honor. Let me give you one last one. And then we're done. Mutual honor. Leave this place practicing honor. The fifth and that will be the final key. That is an enhancer to unity is called the practice of intercession the practice of intercession first timothy chapter 2 1 and 2 when we learn to intercede for one another it becomes an enhancer to our being united i exhort therefore that first of all supplications prayers intercession and giving of thanks be made for how many men all men all men all men all men all men verse 2 the bible says for kings and for all that are in authority to the end that we including you the intercessor may live a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty many believers are part of the system that creates division within the body because we are not intercessors you will hardly criticize a person you intercede for intercession is a great cure to this hatred and all of these sentiments second corinthians 1 11 second corinthians 1 11 second corinthians 1 11 that they may be one second corinthians 1 11 it says ye also helping together how by prayer for us my god so one way to help people is to pray for them. Help them. When you hear a church is in trouble, help them. Not just by sending finances, intercede. Pray for them. When you hear that someone's business is failing, you help by praying. We also helping together by prayer, by prayer, by prayer for us. He said, I know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of christ jesus through your prayer it shall turn for my salvation through your prayer not through your mockery not through your mockings not through your ill speakings if we reduce half the time we take to gossip to talk to plant seeds of discord and convert that energy to intercession it will become a force of cohesion within the body we are experts at selling bad news selling narratives selling rumors have you heard i hear that this pastor collapsed somewhere maybe he's about to die how does that profit the body why not sow a seed of intercession i may not know what is wrong with his life his family his church his health but i pray for him lord for your name's sake preserve your name over the life of this man preserve your name over the life of this intercessor the believer who intercedes is the one who can easily walk in love a body that intercedes for herself is the body that remains strong are we together one final scripture the practice of intercession Colossians chapter 1 and verse 9 Colossians 1 9 for this cause Paul is speaking we also since the day we heard it I like that scripture it doesn't matter what you heard since the day we had the news our response was we do not cease to pray leave the other part I just want to take the A part from the day we had it whether it was a rumor from the day we had it that a man of God is going through a family crisis from the day we had it that your child is now acting autistic from the day we had it our response was that we do not cease to pray for you that is the believers response you hear that a family is losing loved ones rain washed down a church there's trouble somewhere 
a man of God is going through some crisis somewhere from the day that you hear it your response is that you do not cease to pray do not become the promoter of the pain of another person from the day we heard it it doesn't matter what it is you heard if you heard that Reverend Julian is doing a great thing there's a great business you know he's opening up the the Commonwealth platform from the day you hear it you sow that seed of prayer Lord it will work raise partners across Africa raise partners across Europe are we together the day you hear that some man of God is sick maybe battling cancer somewhere don't just rejoice and say and he says he has faith that is a foolish believers response wise believers in the kingdom the day they hear anything their first response is prayer you bow your knees and you say this man is a father in the land Lord let him transit with honor and nobility for the sake of those who look up to him let him not die the death that discourages the body preserve your name over the health of this man this is how believers live who has learned something tonight enhancers of unity we're about to pray number one vision that comes through growth to agree on the same thing to see similar things in the spirit to attain a commendable level of light it enhances cohesion number two love genuine love number three mutual honor honor one towards another regardless social stratification regardless results regardless achievements number four the practice of forgiveness and forbearance and number five the practice of intercession i will stop here let's pray please rise up on your feet rise up on your feet When Jesus prayed and said that we be one, he saw conferences like this. When Jesus prayed, he prayed that prayer confidently because he knew that one day a Rima feast would be put together that will allow an opportunity to let this unity be attained. That there are men and women of God as vessels unto honor that he will plant across several regions nations who will frontier this campaign for unity unity is not uniformity unity is not endorsing licentiousness unity is not all inclusiveness of rubbish believers have standards the standards must not be compromised under any ground please hold hands with someone by your left and right if you will and I want us to pray an honest prayer over Kenya, over Africa, over the body of Christ. I've shared these things and you've heard me. Let us sow that seed of prayer. In addition to all that we have learned from the vessels that have ministered through this conference. And even tonight, I'd like you to pray sincerely. Go ahead and pray. The church in Kenya pray. Believers in Kenya pray. Politicians in Kenya pray businessmen in Kenya pray men and women of God pray captains of industry pray gatekeepers pray pray hold hands with someone as far as your hands can reach and let's pray it's time for the church to attain a state of maturity looking beyond our individualism trusting God for grace to be that generation that becomes the answer to the Lord's prayer that they may be one that they may be one a strong indomitable invincible army a strong family connecting from Kenya to Uganda to South Africa to Nigeria to Zimbabwe to Zambia pray that that purification begins in the house of God strategic kingdom collaborations across Africa across Europe across America across Asia that frontiers the program of God with greater efficiency pray for spiritual growth that we be of one mind in terms of spiritual understanding that those who are weak 
carrying lesser light that by mercy the lord will reach down and lift them to a higher level of wisdom in the spirit that those who have been helped by god to see clara that they will not be complacent but they will keep pressing to the deeper things of the spirit someone pray that the love of god be shared abroad in our hearts by the holy ghost we will love ourselves beyond the walls of denomination we will love ourselves beyond our levels of attainment in the spirit beyond the results that we command beyond the exploits that we command go ahead and pray the least will love the greatest the greatest will love the least pray for mutual honor that we will restore respect one to another that we will not trivialize the spiritual investments the economic investments the intellectual investments of one another that God will grant us the fortitude to honor and appreciate one another as touching our love and labor in the spirit as touching our love and labor in ministry as touching our love and labor in, in business as touching our love and labor in economics in politics someone pray the grace to communicate mutual honor mutual honor mutual honor now go ahead and pray receive grace to practice forgiveness father the grace to forgive the grace to forbear the grace to forgive the grace to forbear the grace to forgive hurts to forgive pains pains of yesteryears pains of yesteryears the grace to forbear the grace to forgive to walk by the law of love to walk by the law of love hallelujah the final point is prayer we are going to pray right now please I want you to contribute in this prayer your spiritual efficiency we are praying as one united family we'll start with kenya the church over kenya the political space over kenya the economic space over kenya we are going to pray lord step in we call you a deliverer we call you a mighty god step in you are the lord of sabaoth step in over kenya spread that prayer to uganda and all across east africa take it to west africa go ahead take it to south africa begin to pray lord step in over your church for your name's sake in the name of jesus raise men and women men of wisdom men of fire men of character manifesting the fullness of christ serving his grace with wisdom serving his grace with diligence go ahead and pray pray for the church in kenya pray for the church in east africa pray for the church in africa from nigeria to ghana cameroon zambia zimbabwe go ahead and pray that jesus be lifted beyond men of god beyond the campaign of apostles and prophets and evangelists we desire to decrease in christ that only one banner only one name be lifted and projected pray for kenya let there be peace in kenya pray for the government for wisdom pray for the parliamentarians pray for the presidency pray for the judges pray that righteousness and justice will become the core the creed over ghana over uh, south africa over uganda over cameroon go ahead and pray that the nations of africa the mineirs of corruption that it will die in our lifetime that god will raise for himself noble men who fear god men of capacity men of integrity men who understand posterity you are praying let's pray for kenya in the name of jesus christ let the young men rise with spiritual understanding responsible young men and women business owners captains of industry who will frontier not just the program of god but the prophetic destiny of kenya 
take a minute to pray we pray for every church we pray for the media we pray for the politicians we pray for the judiciary we pray for pastors we pray for the fathers in the land we pray for the next apostolic voices in kenya we pray for the entrepreneurs the kingdom entrepreneurs the nehemiahs the josephs the daniels the builders it's time for kenya to rise it's time for africa to rise it's time for the body of christ to attain onto a higher level of grace and efficiency in the spirit hallelujah how was the sermon i hope this sermon blessed you and i hope you learned a lot today you know if christ who died for our sin not because he sinned but because we sin and he died for us how much more will you continue to hold your fellow human being in your heart because he or she offended you many 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 years ago remember you always go to God to say, Father, forgive me because I have sinned against you. Why haven't you forgiven someone else that has sinned against you? Do you think God will answer that prayer? You have refused to forgive your neighbor that has offended you. And he or she has come to apologize. But you insist that you are not going to forgive and you go to god in prayer and say father forgive me why do you think that prayer will be answered do you think god will forgive you if you need forgiveness from your maker you ought to forgive your fellow human being who has offended you in one way or the other as far as they apologize remember bible say that you should not allow the sun to fall in your anger if you do you have sinned what does that mean the bible didn't say you should not be angry we are human you can be angry but when you allow sun to fall in your anger you have sinned you see that is why you need to forgive before the offense will come the bible said it that offense must come read your scripture the bible say offense must come so before the offense comes make sure that in your archive there is a place for forgiveness so that when the offense eventually arrives you have already forgiven before the arrival of the offense. That is what Apostle is telling us today. We need to release a lot of people we have hold in our hearts. Forgiveness can be the reason you have not achieved that that you have been pursuing for many years. Forgiveness can bring sickness. Forgiveness can bring heart problem. So you better release those people that you have hold in your heart because they offended you. I hope this message blessed you. The reason for listening to God's servant is for us to amend our ways. When you listen to someone like this, you do your plus and minus. The areas you are not doing well, you adjust. The area you are doing well, you do what you add to it and your life will keep growing like this video share it to everyone you know let this video go viral please and don't forget to subscribe so that you will always get our latest video god bless you see you in the next